Welcome back and welcome to another field inspection report. I'm working at this house that I bought for $2,600. I'm trying to do all the repairs myself. And right now I'm working at my own mechanical rough-in. My mechanical rough-in is basically done, but I'm gonna take you inside and just show you around, show you what I've done and what I learned in this most recent inspection fill. I started by just getting a quote from an HVAC guy for a traditional ducted central air system, but the HVAC guy that I got, and I did get a few different quotes and a few opinions, but they were saying it was going to be really hard to get ductwork into my two by four walls to go to the second floor, uh, which basically meant they wanted to put two furnaces and two AC units in. Uh, so that was going to get pretty costly. I was in the range of you know, between 15 and 18,000. Of course, the natural thing for me to do is look at ideas for things that I can do myself. And so mini splits is one of those things. There are some DIY uh, mini split units. Uh, I was a little uncomfortable with the Mr. Cool DIY units, but I talked to my HVAC guy, just a great guy, uh, works with me in these projects. And he said that he'd be willing to do the technical stuff and hook up if I ran the lines, ran the drain lines, and did the rough in. After doing some research and looking around at things, I ordered the Senville mini split unit. I got a 36,000 BTU outdoor unit with four uh, heads, and then I got a uh, two head 18,000 BTU unit. So there's uh, two units that are going to be uh, cooling this house. The problem with heating and cooling an entire house with mini splits is to get heat into your bathroom and to get heat to all corners of your house and to get an even heat. Uh, we actually have mini splits in the house that we live in currently and I just I'm not overly pleased with mini splits for an entire house heating system. So I found out that I could fairly easily and somewhat cost effectively put hydronic floor heat into my first floor, uh, being as I would do the install myself. And that's going to be a later video uh, that I'm going to do on installing the hydronic floor heat. Um, but I found a guy that was willing to put together the entire control board. Um, he'll put the boiler and then the circulator pumps and the expansion tank and he, he'll just set the whole thing up for me and send it to me all mounted on a board um, and then i just am installing the uh pecs and the heat transfer plates getting it up into my floor um, so that is what we're doing for our primary heating source and i like that much better with an open stairway that's actually going to heat a lot of the second floor as well and then the mini splits are going to be more of like a secondary thing we did take the uh, PEX, the floor heat, up into the second floor bathroom only. There's no PEX uh, on any of the rest of the second floor. It's primarily just on the first floor, and we're depending on that to heat most of the house for us. But then we do have the mini splits as a backup and then our cooling source as well. So I'm just going to walk around and show you what I did. Uh, I got my mini split line sets from Supply House along with the communication cable. Uh, they tend to just be cheaper. They get it to you fast. Uh, I'll put a link to those uh, products in the description. So on the first floor here, we have an 18,000 BTU head going in the main area of the house. It's just kind of going to be one unit taking care of the first floors. This is primarily for cooling because we are going to have our heat source. Um, so right here is the line set that comes in for this 18,000 BTU head. Um, outside units are just right out there. Um, just comes in here, and then I have it, you know, coming out of the wall approximately where this head is going to go. And then here's my um, three-quarter inch CPVC drain line. I currently have it capped because I did a water test on it. This is where four of the six line sets come in from the outside. I managed to get them all through one hole. Um, and there's, like I said, two different units. This is a four uh, head unit right outside here. So I've got four line sets going out the wall there. Over here, I've got 
two line sets going to the other unit. Um, so this is basically where they all come in right in this area and then they just run up and go to wherever they need to go in the rooms upstairs. I did have a friend help me uh, pull these line sets through here because as you can see like this one here is the longest and that is quite a challenge to get them through there. Uh, almost have to have two people um, to pull through the holes that you board and it's just it, it can be quite challenging to make sure you don't kink it or anything like that now in each of the rooms upstairs i mean it's pretty self-explanatory i just brought it up and out the wall right where uh, it's going to come out the drywall i've got my drain lines in here just stopped right at the point where the hole is going to be in the drywall for these drain lines i basically have three points that i took them outside and i'll show you that in a bit but like this one is right above the one on the first floor that i showed you a bit ago so it just drops down and then the drain line from that one dumps right into here and then the same goes for these others as well uh like this drain line i took down uh this is the farthest away and then I have two others that are just tying into this before it dumps out uh, to the outside. Um, but everything else in here with these uh, line sets, I mean, it's pretty much just run them through the floor joists, up the walls, and out to where you need them to come out of the wall. There's one line set coming out here on this uh, inch and a half closet wall because there was really no other place to do it. So on this one, we're just gonna have this line set run on the inside of the closet, um, just exposed or we'll trim around it or something on the inside. In this last bedroom here, uh, this drain line here is the only one that's all by itself, just runs straight down and outside of the house without collecting any, any of the other units. Now up here in the attic, uh, we prepared to do a head up here at some point. So I ran the line set and the communication cable and the drain line for that matter um, in the wall. But at as of right now, we're actually not gonna have this as a finished space up here. Um, we're just kind of preparing for that down the road. So that's basically it for the mini split rough-ins on the inside. I'm gonna take you outside and show you what I did there where the lines come out of the house. I got these things covered up right now just so that they don't draw attention on the outside here. Um, let's see if I can see what we did here. So I mounted a piece of Azac on the wall because I just hate if stuff just pokes out of the siding. And then I drilled a hole in the Azac, mounted my disconnect on there. And then there I actually have the drain coming out of there as well. Uh, here's the other one because you remember I have two units here. Um, there's four mini split lines coming out of this hole, a bigger hole, but man, I really had to stuff them in there. That was hard to do without kinking them. But um, yeah, you see just did the same thing, mounted the Azac there. So that'll be a nice clean look once the siding's on there. Okay, so now for my two fill points on my mechanical rough-in. It actually has nothing to do with the way that I ran my line sets and my drain lines. Uh, that was all just fine. And I know that I'm probably gonna get 50,000 different comments saying that I should have filled for 50,000 different reasons, um, but that was not. It, everything passed with the uh, mini split line sets. This little powder room right here, it's a really tiny powder room and it has a window right here. And I had done some research and I really just didn't feel like I even want a ventilation fan in there, but I need a ventilation fan. And I thought from the research that I did that I didn't need one as long as I had natural means of ventilation, which was with the window. Um, but that was a fill. Um, I do need a ventilation fan in this little powder room. And so I am going to just put a pretty cheap, um, just a, basic fan in there just so that I can pass inspection. Then apart from that, I need a whole house ventilation system. Because of the heating and cooling source that I have, I guess there's not enough of fresh air coming into the house. 
And so that was my other fill point. I need a, a whole house ventilation system. And that I am just handing over to my HVAC guy just because I'm running out of time uh, to prep for drywall. And he's going to also do my gas piping. So I am just, I just handed that over to him and I'm going to let him take care of that. Stay tuned. I am going to show you all my experience getting the hydronic floor heat installed next. Be blessed.